Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'll be sharing a baby card using some Honeybee Stamps products. The main die set I'm using is the Rockabye Baby. For pattern paper, I'll be using Honeybee Stamps Playful Pastels and also Gingham Galore Spring Collection. I love the pretty colors in both of these collections. For the background, I selected this lovely pink gingham paper and I'll add a scallop rectangle die cut and I'll adhere that down using Honeybee Stamps Precision Tip Glue. This is an American A2 size card, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. So now I have all of my die cut pieces and for several of them, I use the pattern paper and for others, I use solid cardstock. Now it's time to start assembling all of the little pieces. I'll start with the rocking horse. There is a layering guide on Honeybee Stamps websites if you're unsure which pieces go together. There are also lots of inspiration cards from the design team on the website. For my little rocking horse, I'm using brown cardstock for most of the pieces. I have a light yellow cardstock for the reins. Some of the pieces are fairly small, so it does help to use a pair of reverse tweezers. And this pair I'm using is from Honeybee Stamps. So now I'll attach the saddle, or maybe it's a little blanket. I cut this out from some light pink cardstock. So there is my little horse all assembled, so adorable. The little bunny, it's just one die, but it has all that lovely etched detail on it. Now I'll start working on the bassinet, or maybe it's a crib. I think it's more of a bassinet. So we have the background piece and then the piece that goes in front. Sort of a brownish yellow cardstock for that. For the mattress, I use a white shimmer cardstock. So just glue all three of those pieces together. So that's the main portion of the bassinet. There's a die so you can have a little blanket draping over the edge of the crib. And I use some of the pattern paper. So it's a light pink and it has some little yellow and gold polka dots on it. For the curtain that goes above the bassinet, I use some flower pattern paper. And then for the mobile that goes above the bassinet, I use some solid pink cardstock. So I'll just glue that behind the backside of the curtain. I use some pattern paper for the yellow rug but the die has really nice detail, so it really looks like a woven rug. I'll adhere the rug onto my card first, then I can create the rest of my nursery scene. So after I have the rug in place, I'll put liquid adhesive on the back of the bassinet and adhere it in place. And I did switch over to Barely Art liquid adhesive since it has a really fine tip. I like both of them, so it just depends on what project I'm working on. But it's nice that Honeybee Stamp sells their glue along with the Barely Art liquid adhesive. I will be popping up the curtain using some thin foam strips from Honeybee Stamps. I'll remove the release paper, add a little bit of liquid adhesive where the curtain will sit on top of the bassinet. Then I'll adhere the curtain to my card. This is such a fun set. You can customize it so you can make boy or girl cards. And if you know the colors of the nursery, you can customize your card to match. I cut a really tiny strip of the foam dimension to put on the very right side of the curtain. So now I can add my horse and my bunny. For the rocking horse, I will add some foam dimension on the body and also the legs. The head will be sitting on top of the blanket and part of the bassinet. So having that little bit of foam dimension on the lower portion of the rocking horse will help keep it at the same level. So I'll remove the release paper and add liquid adhesive behind the rocking horse's head. And then I'll adhere it in place on the left side of the bassinet. For the bunny, I already have foam dimension on the back side, so I just need to remove the release paper and adhere it to the right side of the rug. This sentiment, I've already stamped this out. For this child, we have prayed. This is from 1 Samuel 127. This sentiment is part of the Inside Welcome Baby Sentiment stamp set, and it also has the coordinating honeycut dies. I love that they included the shortened version of the scripture. I actually have the full version of the scripture up on a wall in my daughter's room. 
I struggled with infertility for years, and when I found out I was pregnant and having a girl, I knew I needed this scripture up on my daughter's wall. And it's still there. She's almost a teenager, and we just haven't removed the scripture from the wall yet. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.